Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 16. Now this update keeps surprising. It is actually an amazing update and in my opinion, it is the best iOS update in years. And with the latest iOS 16 beta 4, we got some really big new features, which will make you want to install iOS 16 as soon as it gets released on September. So in this video, we're going to talk about more iOS 16 beta features and some of them are actually really, really important and you probably didn't know about until today. So let's get started. All right, so before we get into this, I just wanna ask you guys for a really quick favor. Most of you guys that are watching my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel. So thank you for watching the videos, but also subscribing would really help out a lot. So I would really appreciate if you could take the time and subscribe to the channel, that really helps out a lot. And we're starting with Safari. So you know that when you go on Safari on iOS 16, you will have the tabs view, and if you swipe down, you will have search tabs right there. Well, now you will also have the microphone right there, which allows you to actually search using voice, of course. So you can dictate, don't need to actually type anything you want to search. And of course, that background right there, you can see how cool that is. Now, it actually takes the wallpaper from your home screen and applies it on the background of the tabs view on Safari, and it actually looks really cool. On Safari, whenever you're browsing on a web page and you're interested on a particular word, you can quickly search that within that website. All you have to do is just 3D touch on that word. So let's just do one here and just tap on find selection. You can see as easy as that, of course, it will find all the matching words. This is the same as find on page, but now you can do it from the select menu and it's much easier and much quicker to do course you will have here the controls which will let you move all through the words that it has found. Now this right here is one of my favorite features of the lock screen on iOS 16. You know that recently with beta 3 Apple has added the big lock screen artwork when you tap on this, you can see the big artwork right there. And they also made a change with beta four. So they made this bigger, but also added the animated background right here. So you can see, of course, the background will actually match the colors of the album art, but it's also animated. So you will notice the colors here will change. The blur will change on the background as it moves around. Of course, as the song goes on here, it's really, really cool. And of course, if you keep the screen wake, you will notice all the animations in the background. And one thing I really like about iOS 16 is that perspective zoom has finally now been fixed. Of course, this is not a new feature, but when you combine it with the new depth effect, on the lock screen, it actually looks really, really awesome. If you just have a wallpaper set on your lock screen with a depth effect, try it out, make sure you have perspective zoom enabled. Of course, you can enable it when you set the wallpaper. Let me show you guys how to do that. So whenever you're setting a wallpaper, all you have to do is make sure you tap the three dots right here and have depth effect and perspective zoom enabled. And then you will get this awesome effect on the lock screen of your device whenever you move your device around the depth effect. And of course, perspective zoom will give your lock screen a way, way better look. Now here's another pretty cool change that Apple has made with iOS 16 beta 4. This feature is actually a bit glitched for now, but you can enable it by simply turning on or off the setting. So you can see right here, we have now, of course, the new search section, on the home screen, the search button actually, and it's just gray, but if you just tap here and go to home screen, enable and disable show on home screen here, you will get this new look you can see with the blue loop right there, and it looks much, much better. Now here is a really big feature that Apple has added to iOS 16 beta 4. This is really awesome. Whenever you have a gaming controller connected to your iPhone, all you have to do is go to settings, go to general, and now you get a new section for a game controller. So here I have the game controller, the DualShock 4, and you can see that we have the controller. So it will get everything you need about your controller on this menu. You can identify the controller. So if you have a bunch of them, you don't know what you have connected, just tap here 
and it will actually vibrate the controller. And then here you can disconnect the controller or you can tap on it to see all the details. So you will have controls to have default. You can add game here or erase all the settings of that controller. And then right here will have profile. So you will have the default profile that of course comes pre-configured with the controller or you can add your own. And once you go here, you can see that you can actually customize everything about the controller directly from your iPhone. You first have the haptic feedback right there. You can choose here whether you want a strong or weak haptic feedback. And then you will have here the color. You can change the color on the light bar on the controller, and then you will have all the different buttons on the controller you can see right here you can choose what whichever of these buttons does right here and you will have direction pad right there you can also go ahead and change this of course the sticks you will have left and the right the touchpad and then you have a second finger on the touchpad and you have shared gestures as well so double press to take a screenshot you can actually change that to start or stop recording or capture highlight or turn it off and you will have press and hold you can do the same here you can choose which action you do with that gesture now Siri has also been improved a lot with iOS 16, but here is one of the coolest features and most useful features that Apple has added to Siri on iOS 16. Siri will now understand you if you speak two languages on the same sentence. So if you're someone that speaks two languages, sometimes you might mix up the words. So you're saying a sentence, maybe in English, but you will put a word there, maybe in Spanish or any other French or any other language, Siri will actually understand that. So that's really, really useful. And of course will be useful for a lot of iPhone users. Moving on to the weather app. Now the weather app has also been updated with a lot of new features. So first of all, on the weather app, we get way more details. You can see right here, we have the forecast for the next 10 days. But if you tap right there, you can see that you get the, the hourly forecast for that day. Right here, you will get everything you need to know for each day, which is really cool. So basically, everything here has more details everywhere tap like you can see we have sunset here if we tap there it will show you right here the sunset and the sunrise and then you will have actually the averages sun sunrise and sunset you can see right here for each month which is really really interesting of course for the current location you're looking at in this case we're looking at london and you can see the average times for sunrise and sunset for the whole year and moving on to the lock screen again, we now have the ability to turn off or change the focus modes directly from the lock screen. And previously, it would just show you which focus mode you're currently on. Now, if you tap there, let me just unlock the device. Now, if you tap there, you will have the ability to actually change here whatever you want. Even if, if you want to turn it on or off or just go ahead and move to another focus mode. And this right here is new as well. And in my opinion, is really useful. You know that when a service or an app actually uses your camera or your microphone or your location you will see it on the control center well here is a change now it shows the actual domain that did that for safari previously in this case google has used my microphone previously it would just say safari now it will show you the actual domain that has used your microphone or whatever else it is maybe it's your camera your location or even the microphone of your device. And last but not least, we're talking about a really, really big feature that is coming to iOS 16. And then unfortunately, this will most likely be just a feature for the newer devices, which will be released in September, the iPhone 14 Pros. And that is the always on display which has actually been leaked. And this, of course, according to Steve Moser from Twitter, he is very known for this kind of stuff and it's actually very, very accurate. So what we can see here are like two screenshots of basically the first frame of a video of waking the iOS 16 simulator. And it shows what it seems to be the always on display on iOS 16. It is really interesting because on the first picture, you can see right there that actually it's a bit different because it has removed the textures 
from the widget, the lock screen widget. So this seems to be what it looks like, the always on display that is coming to iOS 16. And again, it's unfortunately coming only to the newer devices with just the iPhone 14 Pro and the 14 Pro Max probably being the only two devices that will have this feature, but it looks to be really, really awesome. And it will most likely be very similar to the one that's on the new Apple Watches right now, but it's a great, great feature to have something iOS users have been waiting for a really, really long time. So what's next regarding iOS 16? Of course, another beta, and that's beta 5. Now, in my opinion, that will be released next week. Now, probably Apple will move to a weekly schedule after that, but I'm expecting Apple to release the beta 5 somewhere around August 9th or 10th. So those are the two days we expect Apple to release the new beta hopefully bringing even more awesome new features and changes to iOS. But I don't expect Apple to do it this week. It should be next week. So as a conclusion, iOS 16 is a really, really great update. As you can see, some features are really, really amazing, like the ability to actually configure your controller directly from the settings app, talking to Siri with two languages, and of course, the new always on display feature, which is really amazing. So that is it. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Leave a like on this one. And I'll see you on the next video.